Source Water Protection. What is it? Source water protection simply describes steps that we can take to protect our drinking water. Whether your water comes from a well on your property or from a municipal pipe, you want to be certain that the water you drink or give to your children or grandchildren is clean. We all know how important clean water is for good health, but there are some other positive benefits that we as a community enjoy when we work together to keep our water clean. The cleaner our water is to begin with, the less it costs to treat, saving us all some money. Also, it turns out that what's good for us is also good for our local fish population. Clean stream water means more fish. We all have a role to play in this community effort here in Tioga County. At the end of the day, we want to reduce the amount of pollution that enters our water supply and remove existing pollutants. So what does source water protection look like in Tioga County? We are fortunate in that we already have a variety of local community organizations working on ways to protect our drinking water. And there are a number of successful projects already up and running. And some other exciting projects that are in the works. Source water protection, it's like an extra layer of protection for our watershed. Spill response, uh, water quality, monitoring, uh, mapping for 911 in case there is an accident. We're notified even quicker and that can uh, ward off some bad water and pollution getting into your sources, so it's very important. The cleaner the water source, the easier it is to treat. If we have to uh, use more filtration, coagulation to get the water to the point where it's good for the consumer, it's cost us more energy and the cost goes down the line to them and we can keep our costs low, keeps their costs low. So the cleaner your source, the better your water. Here in Tioga County, we have water pollution issues that range from the very large to the very small. One of our large problems we inherited from the past Water from the old coal mines in Blossburg carry a type of pollution known as acid mine drainage into the Tioga River that essentially renders the river uninhabitable for fish or anything else for that matter. George Lloyd from Blossburg explains how we might be able to reverse this situation. The mayor and I, Shane Nickerson, went to Defiance to look at these treatment plants that they have for the acid mine drainage and we're really excited. Uh, Right now it looks like the Fallbrook Creek is going to get done and we're looking ahead to see if maybe we can do something with Coal Run and Bear Creek. They're a couple of the worst polluters for the Tauga River. We could get them cleaned up from the acid mine drainage. We could get some fish back in the creek, which I don't think anybody around this area has ever seen fish in the Tauga River for 100 years or more. And would you believe something as small as those old pills you flushed in the bathroom can also pollute our drinking water? Pharmaceuticals are difficult to remove once they're into your, to your water system. They get into solution and uh, very difficult. Membrane filtration possibly will take some, but not all. So we want to remove existing pollutants and we do not want to create new problems that will be passed down to our children and grandchildren. A first, a very simple and cost-effective way to do this is to use the earth to do some of the work for us. Over at the Island Park, we have minimum storm drainage that we can put the water into. So that area right there, the water would come down the road and would puddle right there but alongside the road and make a mess. I was just going to put a catch basin in there and let it drain in the catch basin. Found out there was some grant money available that we could put some pipes in there, it would drain in the pipes. Uh, dissipate into the ground and for anybody downstream or wells it would percolate down through the gravel and sand clean itself up and get into the aquifer and maybe somebody would get some clean water out of the whole project. I believe the design could be incorporated into uh, parking lots, uh, other storm drainages in the area where the water could go down into the ground, uh, dissipate down there instead of going directly into the Tioga River. It would help uh, prevent some of the flooding problems in the river too because the water would be going down into the ground and benefiting that way. 
Some of the gutters used to go into our sewer lines. When they plug them off, they go on top of the ground. So there is some instances where they could probably put them under the ground into a dry well of some sort to let it percolate down through the ground or put uh, barrels there to catch the water to use for watering their flowers or to garden or something like that. Local groups are also developing other low-cost fixes known as best management practices that both public and private landowners can use. One low-cost best management practice is simply allowing trees and shrubs to grow along the length of a stream. These strips of vegetation, known as riparian buffers, also act as natural filters, cleaning water that drains from the land before it enters the stream. The trees and shrubs also provide shade that helps keep the water cool, something the fish like, and the plant roots bind soil together, helping to hold the stream banks in place, keeping soil out of the stream. A riparian buffer along your stream, it shades the water, which doesn't give algae such a, a, a growth spurt as having sunshine directly on it. It's uh, important for that and sedimentation that can be caused by just runoff. We have a three acre pond and a stream that runs through it. And every time it rains, you can actually see rills where sediment was running right into the pond. And because it's an animal concentration area and the cows are there in it, um, they're applying manure to that area, so I guarantee nutrients are flowing into that, into our pond as well. Our pond is a headwaters to an unnamed tributary. So we just, you know, we want to keep it cleaner. What I want to do eventually is plant a riparian buffer on the stream and around the pond. And hopefully that'll control the temperature of the pond. There are other best management practices that help keep soil on the land and out of our drinking water. Cover crops have so many benefits for conservation. They hold the ground in place. I don't know if you've ever seen the picture of the raindrop hitting the dirt. It, you know, it's like a little mini time bomb every time a raindrop hits the ground. And so that soil becomes movable and it can wash off into streams. And so cover crops are great simply because you keep the ground covered all the time. If you apply manure to this cover crop over winter, the, the plants will actually uptake the nutrients from that manure. It'll hold the manure in place so it's not running off in the streams. Farmers do them on huge scales. Soil is not the only thing we want to keep out of our streams. Everyone understands the importance of treating our sewage before releasing it into the local stream. And so it's very important to keep our septic systems in good working order. Everything sooner or later it goes down the stream and ends up in someone's watershed. If it goes down uh, into the sewer system, it can go through a sewer plant and back out into the river and onto the next watershed. So keeping them pumped and maintained is a, is a big issue. But we human residents of Tioga County are not the only critters that create sewage. Tioga County is also home to large numbers of livestock. Here at the fairgrounds on the wash rack, we wanted to um, improve the wash rack collection of water and to protect the uh, surface water going downhill from this area, um, make it a lot drier, and then we run the water through a filter system. The kids basically have a collection area that they can collect any of the solids and manure coming off of, of washing the cows, and it goes through a filter system here. The manure water, the, the wash and soapy water comes through here, so that keeps all the solids here, and then the kids will pick that up and uh, put that in the manure spreader here at the fair. Both public and private landowners often have large buildings on their property with roofs that collect a great deal of rainwater. Again, we can use the earth to filter that rainwater and get that clean water stored in the ground for future use. This kind of best management practice is already being used here in Tioga County. These are clean water projects. This is um, a regular roof gutter system on this exhibit arena. And what's a highlight here is this gutter system is all collected into a underground drain system. Here in the dairy barn we have a drip line with a buried line to catch that clean water and over here we have the rain gutter system that's collected and put down into the uh, clean water diversion. Both of those are low cost uh, technologies that can be used on farms, keep clean water clean and both are on demonstrations here at the Tioga County Fairgrounds. So we all agree that clean water is important 
And there are individuals and community organizations already hard at work here in Tioga County to keep our drinking water safe. To learn more about how you can be part of the effort to keep our water clean, please contact the Tioga County Source Water Protection Coalition.